from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. These are your latest headlines. The cold weather in central Indiana making it especially tough for Indianapolis firefighters overnight. They've been braving the frigid temperatures to fight a number of house fires. This was the scene on Finley Avenue just east of I-65 on the south side early this morning. Two people living here were able to make it out of the home safely. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. A Senate committee is scheduled to vote on Senate Bill 17 a bit later today. The bill allows punishment for schools and public libraries sharing material considered to be harmful to minors. Supporters say the bill is about protecting kids. Opponents are concerned about censorship. Dangerously cold temperatures in central Indiana is tough for everyone, including our pets. The group Friends of Indianapolis Dogs Outside says it's important to bring your pets indoors. The Indianapolis ordinance requires pets to be brought indoors when temperatures fall below 20 degrees. Well, the wind chill is well below zero this morning. Remember, you can always dial 211 for cold weather resources, including information on warming shelters. But as a reminder, Indianapolis Public Library branches and Indy Park facilities can be used as warming centers during business hours. We have a list of the shelters open right now on WRTV.com and the WRTV News app. Let's get a check right now of the frigid temps with Todd. And after what was one of the coldest mornings we have seen so far this winter season, and for many of you, the coldest morning, temperatures this afternoon climb up into the mid-teens in Peru, 20 in Indianapolis, about 24 today in Bloomington, as well as Columbus with lots of sunshine. This evening, we drop down into the teens. It's just a slow, steady decline into overnight lows that eventually get down anywhere from about 7 to 12 degrees. Obviously very, very cold, just not as cold as what we saw this morning. Morning. And then for the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, a few snow showers, a possibility with little to no accumulation. Highs closer to freezing. All right, Todd, thanks for more stories and weather you need to know. Download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.